I'm Dal Kelly Wright. I'm the sales director here at NX Bus. Hey guys, I'm Sophia. I'm a 19 year old engineering apprentice from Wolverhampton Bus Depot. I'm Jenny Tutnell. I'm Head of Operational Safety and Compliance for National Express UK Bus. My name is Diane Reid. Um, I'm a bus driver at Perry Bar Bus Depot. To me, International Women's Day is about celebrating the achievements and success of women across the world. Definitely a celebration of, of women's achievements in politics, economic, economics, social achievements. It's a day where we can all reflect on basically what women can and do and will bring to the table. For me, it's about being able to stop and think and think that every woman's success is an inspiration to somebody else. And so, and the strongest way we can all progress is if we lift one another up. So it's, it's kind of that, celebrate that, that, you know, for every woman, there's another woman who's trodden that path and just to lift each other up a bit and, and just help each other along the way. So that's got to be the way to go, so. National Express, we're more of a fam, family or, um, orientated business. And I think, um, I'm not saying that we I haven't had challenges as, as being a woman in a male dominated industry, because I have, you know, and that and that's made me more of a resilient person as, as a, a female. The, the presence of women is is much more obvious and, and it's a vibrant, colourful place to be in and I think that that's what the acceptance of females in those roles over the years has done and it hasn't been that long so in the last 25 years I'm talking you, you just see the progression in transport particularly our own bus sector. It deemed as you know traditionally male however I take that as a personal challenge to not only just fit in and blend in, but to be remembered for the right things, hopefully, do you know what I mean? But to be remembered and to be respected as well. Being a woman in a male dominated industry can be difficult at times, but most of the time we get along really well and I don't ever seem to feel like I stand out against anyone because of my age or gender, so it's pretty good. Who do I look up to? So roles like, so Zaha Hadid, who is the British Iraqi architect. Now, she she paved the way for females in that sector, but not just females, females of colour. So, she, you know, and she'd got, she'd got a background. She came from Iraq. She uh, spent a lot of time in, a, in an industry that's male dominated. One of my biggest female inspirations is definitely Ariana Grande, uh, the American pop singer. She's been through a lot during her career and the way she handles everything is so, so incredible. And the way she's also been put up against so many other male artists competing against her, yet she's always managed to be on top. I think she's so inspiring, honestly. Hey, hands down, my mum. Um, she was raised by a strong woman, my nan. And to be honest, from the from when we were little, me and my brother, she's always guided us. She's always promoted positivity, you know, um, as any parent would. At the moment is Jacinda Ardern, who's New Zealand's Prime Minister. I think the reason why is that within her two years of being a Prime Minister at New Zealand, she's overcome quite a lot of challenges whilst being pregnant. It might sound boring, but I would like, the, I would love to have the power of healing to be able to heal. And I don't mean just like physical ailments, I mean like mental, you know, like, you, you know, if your friend's down and you speak to them, you try and lift them up, that's your friend, you know what I mean? But you know, like strangers and you see, or maybe not healing, maybe like my, I don't know if I want to read someone's mind, but you know, when you see someone on the street and they just look really down and out, I'd love to just, you know, are you okay? Talk to them, talk them off that kind of ledge, like what's going on, you know what I mean? But definitely healing. Um, I think I'd have fingers for toes so literally I could play the piano and do all my work at the same time and yeah toes are pretty you know they're probably essential but they feel like yeah they're just on the end of your foot whereas your fingers are constant aren't they so yeah. Freeze time the reason being I'm a mother of three um, and obviously we've got homeschool at the moment so that time is and I think from, from being a mother anyway, time is precious for the children. You want to give your best at work, but also um, spend quality time with your children so they develop and have the, the best opportunity for them. So yeah, free time.